Hi, welcome to Bravo School of Easy to Learn English. And today the subject we are going to be covering is noun. And uh, noun is uh, one of the main parts of the eight parts of the speech of English grammar. And it's, it's one of the main ones, not only the main ones, it's mostly used as well. And if you think about, if you, if you remember, I had spoken about it earlier on, if you have viewed the video before. But today that we are going to talk about what is a noun and what are the common nouns that we use and where are they going to be used in detail. Okay, noun. It's a name of a place thing animals and ideas so if you see like you know somewhere in the sentence of every sentence we use there will be either a place there or thing there or an animal there or an idea there now noun is also divided into four sections of it common noun proper noun collective noun and abstract noun so we are going to be covering these four sections one by one in detail but the main four are common noun proper noun collective noun and abstract noun okay we saw four nouns uh, and uh, let's just look at the first two here which is common noun and proper noun the reason i have linked both of them together because one is connected to the other which you'll know in a minute now if you take the common noun it's building trees animals and city so when you address a building as a common noun, you'll say tall building. But when you address a building with a proper noun, you will add a name to the building. So empire state of building. So as it is, as a common one, it will just be the tall building, short building, you know, big building, anything. But if you want to be more specific on a proper noun, you have to address the name to it, which will be empire state of building or anything on that relation. Second one is tree in front of a tree that is just to say about the tree by itself now you want that is a common noun but you want to be in, introduce a tree in a proper noun format you will say in front of a mango tree or apple tree whatever the tree's name may be third one is animals when you just address the animal by itself you just say a lot of animals they are staying, standing together a lot of animals you want to specify the name of the animal or one of the animals among the many in proper noun you will be saying the dog cat whatever the name of the animal may be city big city you just by a common noun it will be a big city but the moment you have to address it with the proper noun you will address the name of the city for example london new york as as you go along many cities that you know so this is a difference between the common and the proper noun the same common noun will be addressed with the name in specific to become the proper noun. Okay, the third one is uh, collective noun. Now, if you can see here, the collective noun, the, the four examples I have for you is team, bunch, jury, and band. As you see, this is all a group of many people. You can't make a team with one person. You can't make a bunch of flowers, means one flower, no. You can't make a jury, you can't make a band. So this is all many people. So the, the, the time it becomes many, it's all related to people. So it's all people, but in different format. And because it's many connected together, it becomes collective. It's many collected together. So it becomes collective now. So example of team is the football team. I see no, the football team takes about 11 players. A bunch of flowers. That means so many flowers put together to make a bunch. Okay, so it's more than one flower, more than two, three to make a bunch. Jury, the 12 members of the jury. So 12 people collectively becomes the name jury. Band, the band of classical musicians. So the band will have minimum about 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 people. So it's, it's a group of, collective group of many people will make these teams and the phrases that goes with it. Okay, the fourth one and the final one of the noun is abstract noun. The meaning of an abstract noun is not having a finished shape or a form to it. So there's no shape of it or there's a form of it. But the, the, the word, word has a meaning to it. Truth. Now what is a shape or a form of a truth? But you know what truth is, right? It's a feel, it's, 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 uh, it's, it has a word, it has a meaning to it, but you can't just say, oh, the shape of the truth is this or the form of the truth is that. So, Roger is telling the truth. 
That means he's speaking the truth. We can only feel or we can only intake it, but we can't see the shape to the truth. Beauty. We know when somebody is beautiful. We can say she's a beauty, but what shape or form is the beauty? It's just, it's just a physical appearance. It's how we look at it from our point of view, how the person is. Honesty. Honesty is the best policy. Speak the truth. Always be honest. But where is the shape to honesty or where is the uh, finished product to honesty? No. It's just, it's just a feeling again. It's, it's just the truth that we speak or we understand. So that is abstract now. So now we have seen the, all the four, four nouns and we know the examples. We have taken some examples of how to use them. So hopefully you have, you have followed it up in such a way that you know how to use the nouns in the sentences to follow.